But last night these two bouncers and one of them's alright, the other ones are scary and his way or no way totalitarian, he's got no time. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming my January favourites. I'm just going to start with it because there isn't really anything to say. I had um, midterms today and oh my god, they go like on and on and on, like... Ugh, I feel like for every single midterm I had to write like an essay, like even the Spanish one. It was a pain. By the way, I didn't really have many beauty favorites, but it's like beauty favorite would be, I'm pretty sure the video is going to be uploaded before this, is basically all the beauty tips in that video because they've really been helping me so much. And you guys should check that video out. It's pretty pretty cool just saying just like legit everybody's talked about this but I don't really care because I'm like behind on the trend and I don't even know if I did this in my last favorites video but you know what I don't care because it's just my favorite again like sorry breaking the rules but uh, this is the hula bronzer I use the brush inside of it and honestly I was never a bronzer user until really like this month and I'm do I may be doing it a little intensely, I'm not really sure, but the thing is, I'm extremely pale and it is freezing outside, like, ugh, like there is when is the sun gonna come back? And the other day, yesterday I had a snow day and my heat stopped working, like, how unlucky am I? And not even just like, my heat stopped working, it stopped working at like 2am, like I had to wake up at 2am on a snow day night and look for blankets. Like, that sucks. I just got my nails done, so I'm trying to... And I don't go all around my face because I don't know if I'd be able to do that yet. And I think it looks fine if you just put it, like, under the cheekbones. And it just makes you look a little tanner than you already do. And it, did, like, also, um, it doesn't make your face just, like, totally one color. Oh. So, it makes it look a little more natural. My next favorite, like, I'm sorry, it has the mask on it. It's not anything else. So at least I know what it is. And oh, it won't even close. I've been using this for like a year, but... Well, actually, I, what I'm saying is I used this last year, but then I was like obsessed with it. And I actually just totally forgot about it. It wasn't that it was bad. I just forgot about it. And it's really great. So I'm trying to use it like twice a week now. And is the Michael Todd Kaolin Clay Detoxifying Facial Mask. It's for oily or combination acne prone. So basically, just clears up your skin. And um, surprisingly, I'm needing that more than hydrate, more than like moisturizer and moisturizing it, which is like weird considering it's like freezing outside. And I know my hands are like drying up, like. Legit. This works really well for that and you look so- <laughs> I look like a swamp monster or something when I have this on but who cares. The next thing is legit amazing and I used it for New Year's and I've been using it other times too. And yes, glitter is a pain to take all off of your nails but you know what? This is worth it. So this is the Essie Beyond Cozy Nail Polish and it comes out as legit sparkles, like totally opaque, is that the word? It's easy to put on, because with the glitter, like I feel like you can't really realize if you're horrible at painting nails as much. And I don't know, I'll, it's just like I've never, I mean maybe there are people that are like, there are tons of other nail polishes like this, but I, this is the first nail polish that I've had where like it's just totally glitter, like the whole thing comes out glitter, it's not like kind of like a glittery top coat. Kind of goldy, um, goldy, that's probably not a word. I don't know, I think it's cool. I like, like, unique nail polishes. I like the one I have on now, it's like one of those, like, holographic ones. This thing is conditioner, and, oh, it's cl not close. This is the mane and tail conditioner, and, um, a lot of people talk about this for helping, like, grow your hair out. I mean, my hair is, like, pretty long right now, so I don't really need to, like, grow it out or anything, but I've heard this is really great for that, but I just like it because it's like, it makes your hair legit so soft because it's like, it can also be used as like a leave-in conditioner, and you're actually only supposed to use this like two to three, 
well, it says like two, three times a week, but like that's how much I wash my hair a week anyways. So I've not tried this as a leave-in conditioner. I will try that. Just, just a regular conditioner. I like it a lot. Doesn't really smell like anything, no, nothing unique, but I just like it for like how it leaves your hair feeling and I feel like it doesn't like, I have really thin hair and I feel like it doesn't like drag it down like, oh it's moisturizing, but then like it totally just like makes my hair look even thinner than it already is, but this I feel like doesn't really do that. And it moisturizes out without making it like greasy the next day because that is something I cannot stand with any conditioner that's thing. I got this for my birthday last year and I haven't really been using it. It is a Tarte palette. I don't know the name. It looks like this. I didn't really use it that much last year and I've just been using it a lot recently. Like a bit of the Naked 3 colors. I don't have the Naked 3. It's nice neutral colors and it's like a nice mix of like warm, cool, and kind of like I feel like it's a nice mix of like the Naked 1, the Naked 2, and the Naked 3. But it's tart. Look how pretty it is. It's just like, I don't know, you can't even really tell it's a palette. It could be like a wallet or something too. It could look like one at least. So the next thing is soap. I don't know where you'd put this. Like what category? So basically I have an obsession with Frosted Cupcake from Bath & Body Works. I legit just go in there and smell it every time. This smells so much like it. It's just sugared vanilla. <laughs> my neighbors probably like, think I'm crazy they see me like talking in front of a window and laughing at myself like I would think I'm crazy at least the people that live across the street from me I like it so as for washing your hands I think it does a pretty good job like fashion favorite H&M and it is one of these things that like wraps around and covers the ears to stay warm and only problem like sometimes it takes like such a long time for it not to like poof up my hair the next favorite is jet puffed marshmallow bits you know i really like the um cobblestone cobblestone hot chocolate with the um like with the little mini marshmallows in it but i also really like this caramel hot chocolate i just i put them on everything they're so tiny and yeah. Now I'm gonna go over like my music favorites. Okay. Basically, like every Arctic Monkey song ever made. Then also the whole Bastille Bad Blood album um, app favorite. Well, because I had midterms, I'm gonna put in Cranberry, which is like uh, flashcards. Quiz Up. If you've never heard of Quiz Up, I don't know where you've been. TV show favorite is. Gossip Girl. I've never seen that show before and I don't know why. I think 26 hours of Gossip Girl in like a week and a half. Like, all of Netflix. Uh, no, you can't just leave off there. Like, I need to know what's happening next. I do do productive stuff while I watch. Study. 30 degree room with 20 blankets. Like, what else is there to do than watch Gossip Girl? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and... I know, not really many beauty favorites. I didn't really get to try out that much this month. I don't know why. Like, why can't I say bye? I feel like I sound so, like, obnoxious when I say bye. Oh my god, no. I'm for you, looking all breathing, and we don't want you to. So step out of the queue.